Welcome back to Carolina this week. So this week is Joe Dugan, chairman of the Myrtle Beach Tea Party. In a little bit, we're going to hear about a program that you can help get make sure that it, every child in Horry County has a free book. It's called Books First. It's a good program or first book. We'll get to that in just a minute. Let's finish up our conversation with Joe Dugan. We were talking about taxes when we left off. Mm -hmm. I want to ask, I've heard a lot about a fair tax, and I think to a lot of people, the fair tax sounds like a good idea or common sense. Is it, in your mind, a good idea or common sense to have a fair tax, say, everybody's taxed at the same rate? Well, I think, basically, it's a very solid idea, and it, and it has a tremendous number of benefits in attracting new business to this country and trying to gain back some of the jobs that we've lost. I have not uh, studied to the extent that I will mm -hmm. all the ramifications of the law, uh, of the proposed law. I would say that I am very favorable towards it, but I have uh, some reservations. And it just so happens that our, our Myrtle Beach Tea Party meeting tonight at 6 o'clock at the Red Robin uh, we have someone from Fair Tax as our guest speaker. So I hope to get some of my questions answered tonight. About that. Okay, well, let's get back to something I know you know a lot about, which is the 7th Congressional District, which, if the courts approve, will be voting on those lines come June of the primaries in June of 2012. Yes. Uh, there are, there are uh, a number of people that really deserve some recognition. The problem with recognition is that you always leave somebody out. Yeah. Uh, but Alan Clemens and Thad Virus and Ray Cleary and uh, Senator McConnell, uh, Senator Leatherman deserve a lot of praise for, for pulling this off at the last minute. And the, the citizens, uh, Johnny Bellamy, uh, Horry County Party Chairman, Jerry McDaniel, uh, Treasurer of the Tea Party, um, there, there are just so many of them. Uh, Bill Pickle from Florence, uh, Charlotte Hendricks from Florence. Um, y y y you know. The list goes on. <laughs> the list goes on and on. Yeah. But what I did want to show you sure. was uh, a newspaper that Bill Pickle put together uh, for our lobbying effort in Columbia. Mm -hmm. And it has several articles pertaining to the 7th District in it, but on the back it has a sign that we all held up to the senators when they were voting. I recall well, seeing those signs in video. <laughs> <laughs> BD wants and to I would like district. to let you have this as a memento of the, our new congressional 7th district. Thank you very much, Joe. I and appreciate I'd that. also like to... I'll put that on my desk. I'd also like <laughs> to give you a pin. <laughs> all right. BD wants the 7th district. I right. This will go in my collection. I appreciate that. The history was made on Monday when Governor Haley signed that bill. What about the people who will say, and maybe some of them will be justified, that this is going to create another Republican district mm -hmm. in South Carolina and shut out the hopes of having another Democrat elected. And therefore, th the courts should really take a close look at this to make sure it's not violating mm -hmm. the, uh, the laws dating back to civil rights. Um, there are some special regulations that apply to South Carolina and some southern states. Uh, dating back to the civil rights movement and uh, redistricting in South Carolina comes on under intense scrutiny. The people that were doing the redistricting were quite well aware of that and they had all demographic numbers from the census and abided by the proportions that uh, were dictated by, by the law. The fact of the matter is that South Carolina is a proud Republican state and you look at the 2010 election, and it was a Republican conservative sweep. And uh, uh, the Tea Party pitched in to help them out. Uh, we're just so proud of the people that we've elected that, you know, the courts can gerrymander anything that they want, but the people in South Carolina know what they believe, and they, and they believe in America. And it's in their hearts. and. We hope to get it out in their mouths so that we can grow and be a louder voice as the rest of the nation is watching. I want to point out the tie that Joe's wearing. It was one of the first things I noticed. You can't see it real well, so I took a picture of it. If we could put that picture up. Signed by Governor Nikki Haley the day, I believe, that, yes, that she, that she signed, the signed the 7th District Bill. Right. So there you go. You're, you're wearing a piece of history, I suppose. <laughs>
All right, Joe Dugan, chairman of the Myrtle Beach Tea Party. Thanks for taking some time to talk to me this morning. I'm sure that plenty of people who are watching this morning may agree with you. There may be plenty who disagree with what you have to say. If you disagree with Joe, send me an email to Tim at WPDE.com. I'll air them. I'll pass them on to Joe, and we'll go from there. And if you'd like to be on this show to counter what Joe has to say, let me know. I'd love to hear the other side. Joe, thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure, Tim. All Thank right. you so much. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back.